And I'm bad like the Barbie. I'm a dog, but I still wanna party. Being felt like I'm ready to bend. I'm a 10, so I pull in a can. Like, Daddy. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another video. If you're new here, my name is Noah Zindombela, also known as Kwasi Bear on all social media platforms. Do subscribe, be a part of this family, and if you're returning, Sapi, welcome back, darling. Gizo vent, I am here to vent. So, guys, please give me a moment to vent, please. Like, I have an issue. I have a serious issue with certain brands. Tell me why I'm not brands Abu Yashwaila Nerabi, guys. Tell me why brands like to take advantage of influencers. Like I've been hearing influencers complain about this, but now I'm experiencing it firsthand. <laughs> firsthand, guys. Brands take advantage of influencers so bad. I'm gonna give you a background story as to why I'm complaining so badly. So it is January. It is second week of January, guys. Um, I get a, I get approached by a brand. I'm not going to mention their name. Um, and they say, "Hey, we've been looking at your social media. We would love to collaborate with you. We have a campaign. It is oh, they don't go into details about the campaign. So I'm like, okay, I'm interested in knowing more about the campaign. Please do like give me more information. So they give me a brief. Okay, this is what the campaign is about this is the brief this is what is required of you and on the brief it talks about 10 posts so it is a two-month campaign um, and it includes 10 posts guys yeah I understand I'm a post out 10 okay it's not that much considering the fact that only four of the 10 are reels okay only four of the 10 are reels so guys I'm gonna produce four reels for this campaign in the space of two months right and i was cool with that okay four reels one minute long reels talking i'm good with it okay sharp and then on top of the four reels they're gonna give you six like posts for you to post on your pages right i had no problem compensation Malini, and for these 10 posts they are offering five thousand rand now guys still limalingan Still Limali Inane, but I'm just like, yes, yeah, I'll do it. Five thousand Rand for ten posts. For basically Angiti ten uh, five thousand Rand for four posts because Lawa Mani is just a matter of just posting what they give you. So basically I'm gonna work for Lama post or four. And I'm like, okay. They send me a contract. I agree to okay, Uti, this is what they're gonna pay me. And by our shoots, we'll give you 50% before Ikale the campaign, and the rest will give you once the campaign is completed. Sharp signing contract, he said. Tell me why, when they plan a meeting for today, a meeting, it's currently half past 11. The meeting starts at 12. Tell me why, when they send um, the details of the meeting, they send a new brief. And on this brief, it's saying there's 20 posts excuse me what 20 posts um and the compensation has gone down from five thousand rand to three thousand rand tell me why tell me why so i send an email i'm like excuse me squeeze me um i'm seeing this email and it's got an, a brief 80 so 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 i'm not sure whether i'm wrong or 
and the lady has the nerve to say oh no you know I just realized that when I sent you the original brief um, it was for macro influences so the, the compensation is for macro influences not nano influence I am a nano influencer by the way so it's not for <laughs> nano influences it was for macro so actually this is the compensation and I'm like if that's the case please remove me immediately remove me I am not gonna settle for doing 20 posts for 3,000 rands and I'm mad Am I mad? And now, Ogulo 20 posts, it's no longer four videos, it's six. Am I the crazy one? Am I the crazy one? There is no way I'm doing 20 posts for 3,000 rand. I'm shy, I'm not No ways. Anyway, I blame my influencers though for this sometimes. Because there are influencers that would take Leo Manileo. And that's why brands feel that it's okay for them to pay us so little money for the work that we do. Yes, I was born. I was born. No, they do not. They do not see us. So much work for so little money. And back on the was we accept Leon. That's what pisses me off. Kakul. What there are people who are gonna settle for Leo Malileo. No, guys. No, I'm angry. I'm angry, I'm disappointed because I'm thinking, okay, as a brand, you want us to work so hard for your brand and you want to pay us peanuts. Tina so pilangan. Nina nizotoli madi from the work that we do because people are going to be interested. Some people will actually go through with whatever, according to your campaign day. Mina ntola ma peanuts. Gizo pilangani mina mom patali malengan gizo pilangani mpilo mom patala imali engani for the work that I do for your campaign. No, I'm pissed. So we meeting again again on twelve. Andy is a glow meeting. I'm not going. I told her just remove me from the campaign. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing twenty posts for three thousand rand. I'm sorry. And it's not towards him clampe. It's because I'm better than this campaign. No, guys, any. Muning umsebenzi that goes into content creation, you guys do not understand. Abantu that are not into the content creation world do not understand. You put in a lot of work. The fact that I'm gonna sit and I'm a vigil hour that they were requiring are sit down videos. I need to look presentable for these videos. I need to make sure that the lighting is proper. I need to make sure that I'm shooting cuts, edits, what what for these videos. All that work, six videos. For 3,000 rand, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Yo, I'm angry. Like, I'm, I'm so angry. I'm so angry. Anyway, that is my vent. Like, brands need to stop it. They need to come on now because this is unacceptable. Hi, guys. Welcome to another day in my vlog. So, I've got a quick update for you guys. Remember, like, one of my previous vlogs, I spoke about the cockroach situation in my house. I even did a little concoction that I saw on TikTok where I put cucumber and sugar and bicarbonate of soda. That trick didn't work. That trick did not work. Um, it literally worked for one day. I saw a couple of dead cockroaches and then two days later, it was, if, it was as if they got worse. So I was just like on the verge of giving up until this other day I was a crazy storm and whilst I'm standing behind this white man um, he gets helped by the, the, the lady at the till and he's carrying this thing ne? and I could see like from where I was that it's written roach something roach right and I didn't want to like intrude you know because you know like how white people can react to this, okay? so I didn't ask him about it, right? I waited for him to pay and finish and then I asked the, the, the lady at the till, I'm like, what is that that he was carrying? Is it for cockroaches? And she's like, yeah, it's for cockroaches. I'm like, can I get one of those? And she's like, yeah, sure. So she goes and she gets this little packet. And I'm looking at this thing and I'm just like, this is not medicine. It, it even says um, non-toxic what, what, what. It's just like this little box, right? And so I take this box, it's like 69 rand, literally, and there's like five of these boxes inside the pack. So what you basically do is you open this box. Let me get one so I can show you guys an example. Is this thing recording? Okay, it is. So you get five of these little boxes, right? This is what it's written on it. It's written 
roach hunter this thing is not really a roach hunter guys because it doesn't really hunt the roaches the roaches come to it so you open it like this and there's like sticky paper on the inside here right and then you flip off the this, the, this paper and you left with the sticky paper and then you just close this up and leave it in the areas in your house that have roaches now guys I want to give you a quick update it's been one day since I put this thing I put this thing yesterday and sorry to gross you out if you are grossed out by this kind of thing but this is what it looks like the roaches literally come onto this thing let me show you guys that thing hold on so the roaches literally come onto this thing as you guys can see and they are stuck this is just one day's progress gosh the lighting is so terrible but look at that those are all the roaches that I caught so far. Disgusting. Disgusting. Some of them are still alive. As you can see, they're still moving. But they're going to die. They are going to die. So you can leave this thing on. I mean, you can leave this thing in your house for about 30 days. They say... Sorry. Yo. They say you can leave it for like 30 days and the house it will still be sticky. So if this thing looks like that on day one... By day 30, by day 30, I don't even want to see. I don't even want to see. So I'm going to leave it for a couple of more days and I'll update you guys. Um, but the cockroaches in that house are definitely a lot less since yesterday. Because sometimes I'll randomly just see a cockroach on the wall or whatever. But I haven't. Today, Jay, I think I've only seen one. But I have Pungwok, so I put like this five... Um, in a pack so i put all five of them around the house i put some in the living room i put some in i put like two in the kitchen one behind the fridge because yeah but i'll update you guys as to how all five of them look maybe like after a week is the one or what and it's only 69 rand so yeah wings on update and hello don't mind my hair guys i'm going to take a bath now um yeah and that's it <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to another day in my vloggy um the last time i vlogged i think was like on sunday or monday sunday when i was doing my skincare routine looking all cute um that video is up on my instagram as well as my tiktok do check it out um so today is wednesday it is the first day that Manzi is officially back at school so um we're literally back to our normal routine if i could call it that whereby i prepare him for school and then he leaves and i'm alone for like the whole day until about later on in the afternoon when his driver brings him back and yeah so today my plan is to clean i want to clean the hell out of this house um, right now I'm gonna make my bed and then I am going to um, just sweep and mop my bedroom and then I want to attack his bedroom because chill, I haven't cleaned that room thoroughly the whole of December because obviously he was home all the time and all he does is play PlayStation guys all he ever does is play a PlayStation so it was a bit difficult to like thoroughly clean the room so i'm gonna attack his room after mine and then i'm gonna attack the kitchen so that is the plan for today that is the plan for today also i've got something that i need to collect from the post office but i actually literally don't want to go out because the weather is so gloomy so i'm gonna get down also why is it that i'm a brand maybe tell the address why the hell would you send a package to the post office like such an inconvenience i gave you my address child i gave you my address inconvenience 
anyway um i don't think i'll do that today um i don't want to go out i just literally want to clean this house and yeah because i want a little package leo it's either way collector sasa or friday if not it will be next week and gave us a really big jacket because you know what i wanted the package to come to my house <laughs> for convenience but i'm about to say to send the person anyway yeah let us get on with our day sibonoti is sivlokan This is what was under the bed. <laughs> okay, so let's get to the cleaning. Sang me some bed here. And I think I'm gonna attack that corner first. Um and just clean on the table under there. I don't know what all those things are. Those are all my shoes. I need to pack them properly. And then in the other corner over here are more of my okay you guys won't see that the lighting is really bad in this room but those are other shoes of mine so then i'll put down the bed and yeah Bandy's room is a mess, so I'm gonna attack this. My camera battery is flat, so I'm recording with my phone at the moment, and hopefully by the time I'm done, he's will be easy. He's will be easy, John. He's will be see charge the battery, and then I can continue recording the rest with that. Good morning guys, I'm looking so bright when I put the camera on this side but then when I start recording it's not as bright so maybe I should put you guys on this side, hold on. Let's try this again, hi guys, welcome to my Welcome to my channel. Why am I doing a whole intro? Welcome to another day in my vlog. 
guys I've got an update <laughs> on the Kokoro situation that we talked about a couple of days ago it's been like a week and a half and you know guys I thought that these cockroaches were invading my space but I think I've come to the realization that Iguabola because there's a whole lot more of them than me and I'm about to gross you guys out but I just need to share this because I cannot see this alone okay so when I saw cockroaches in my house it would literally be like two three four nyana cockroaches every now and then ekishimi and stuff and you know I was just like ah I've got so many cockroaches but that's what was all I could see that was all I could see guys tell me why when i bought that like roach catcher thing roach hunter thing there's like a billion and my house is literally infested like i need to call by the fumigating what what services and they need to come here they need to blast my house out with their fumes because it is ah it is disgusting so i'm gonna bring all five of those little um, cockroach hunters that i put around the house and i'm gonna show you what those things are looking like at the moment but i need to share this guys so these are all five of the cockroach hunter thingies and i'll just tell you guys where i put I positioned all of these okay this one was in Banzi's bedroom for a little while but then we didn't really catch that many cockroaches and the reason why i put it in Banzi's bedroom is because he eats in his bedroom and his bedroom is always a mess so i thought i'd get quite a few cockroaches from there but when i didn't get a lot i then took it and put it in the kitchen in the corner by the microwave right this one of you here has always been by the microwave on this side um just by the kettle so this one is like kishin now this one has been this one number three has been um on the floor in front of the fridge for about a week and you can see another cockroach Nancy Pumalapa okay it's been on the floor in front of the fridge but then I moved it and I put it behind the bread bin which is on the side somewhere okay this one has always been on the floor this one has always been on the floor behind the fridge and this one was in the bathroom i noticed some cockroaches in the bathroom um by my um laundry basket because it's that um but see any material but like cockroaches just get stuck there so let me show you guys what it looks like inside so oh my gosh it's dark okay let me move so that i can get better lighting okay i decided not to move i put on the lights so this one guys was the one that was in banzi's bedroom these are the cockroaches that it caught and i've moved it to behind the microwave let's go on to the second one this one is the second one which has always been next to the microwave guys can you see that i even put some breadcrumbs there to attract them can you see that ridiculous let's go on to the third one which was in front of the fridge for a bit and then i put it um by the bread bin like behind the bread bin so this is number three which was in front of the fridge for a bit and then i moved it behind the bread bin guys guys are you guys seeing this they're still moving because they're not dead but are you guys seeing this disgusting place that i'm staying in let's go on to the next one now this one is the craziest one because <laughs> this one is the one that's been behind the fridge guys this is what's happening behind the fridge like i'm literally getting goosebumps as i'm telling you guys all of this or as i'm showing you guys all of this look at this guys Ow, and then let me show you the last one this one is the one that has been in the bathroom guys look at all these cockroaches look at all i cannot be kidding about this my house is infested i cannot i cannot i uh, like uh, oh my guys this is disgusting i'm living in a freaking uh, cockroach um house Bonan. 
Unani, bona. Look at this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Guys, get my goosebumps. I don't know if you guys can see that. Like, can you see my arm? I've literally got goosebumps because of those roaches. Like, I'm even feeling itchy. But guys, that is the situation in my house. I need to call those people, Abazo, Abazo, fumigate at the house because I mean, was like, I'm disgusted. Like, I can't. crazy to me because last week um, I put up a vlog and I sort of like showed you guys we'll see, I've reached 5,000 subscribers I was super happy and you know it's taken me such a long time to grow on YouTube and to now have my channel grow at such a fast pace for me is like it's overwhelming um it's like really overwhelming like going in bed um so i just came to like thank you guys because we are now on six thousand subscribers and 11 11 make a wish put it out there um we are on 6,000 subscribers and the funniest thing I don't want to cry oh my god I don't want to cry okay the funniest thing about this is that I made a joke right um, I made a joke on my TikTok um, I w it was just before I reached 5,000 subscribers and I was saying hey well, guys subscribers and all that right it was just a joke you know and five thousand subscribers and it's easy to just buy a cake go spa or whatever but i wanted to make like you know a special cake and but charge up over 500 just to make the smaller than your cake that will have 5k on it you know so i was like okay you know what if you get like 5,000 subscribers i didn't have money that was last week i still don't have money um because a cake is like 500 rand i don't have 500 rand to spend on it a smaller than a cake yeah boom so i said um you know what i'm on 5,000 subscribers it's fine i won't freaking get that cake now because i don't have the money but i'll just wait until month end and even if it's i'm still on 5050 it's okay i'll still celebrate 5k subscribe no i can't do that <laughs> now i can't do that i can't just make a cake at 5k subscribers because i'm on 6,000 subscribers which means if i buy a cake month end it will have to be ikekela 6k which means <laughs> a milestone yeah 5k like it's gone and um so now i'm just saying okay month end i'll just buy ikeke in month end is next week guys i'll just buy ikekela 6k um and then i'll just celebrate 6k because i skipped the 5k milestone 6k is also a big deal 
but people don't really celebrate the other little numbers in between it's always like must celebrate to 1k because 1k and then must celebrate to 5k because 5k and then must celebrate to 10k so i don't care i'm not gonna do what everyone else is doing i'm not gonna do I'm gonna celebrate 6k okay <laughs> i'm gonna buy a cake that's 6k and i'm gonna celebrate 6k because i couldn't celebrate 5k um so i'm overwhelmed guys to be quite honest i'm overwhelmed i'm happy i'm i'm excited about this year um like i'm super excited about this year it looks like it's gonna be a good year for me um not only because i'm growing on youtube or whatever but it just feels like it's gonna be a good year i don't know it just feels like it so um i just wanted to take this moment to like appreciate every single one of you and <laughs> it's funny how i'm always saying oh my tiktok family my TikTok, but guys the people on my tiktok really do come through and i'm not saying google abanyabandu that have followed me randomly just by seeing my videos on youtube or the people that have followed me from facebook or the people that have followed me from instagram are not as important as the ones from tiktok but i'm just saying like tiktok gang has really come through for me in ngelelanji that i can't even explain and also i just wanted to say thank you to the people that followed me when I had 50 subscribers, you know, because Sankala at the bottom, bottom. <laughs> and I've never had like a big platform or like I've never had I'm a followers, I'm a ningi on other social media platforms that would boost my YouTube, you know. When I started my YouTube on TikTok, I think I had like a thousand subscribers on Instagram. A little bit more than that but people on instagram are not really as supportive you'd put your links lapaya and you find nobody clicks on your links so i didn't have like a big following to bring through to youtube i literally grew my youtube from scratch you know and i appreciate those people that did subscribe when i had 30 subscribers and my quality was crap and i was awkward and i couldn't talk on camera and everything I appreciate those people so much because how am I wanna see group guys again saying as what it's like but it is big for me guys. Um yeah so <clears throat> I've been rambling and also I don't wanna cry, like I don't wanna cry. But yeah, I just wanted to come here and thank you guys so much for the support. Um and also just to close off this vlog because this is the end of the vlog. I think I have a long enough vlog to put up and also Jay, for my like um guys if you guys want to send me a little something <laughs> some people aren't aware of this feature but youtube just like tiktok has this gifting thing they call it super thanks um so if you look at the bottom of the screen i'm just gonna try and look who youtube how it actually goes so that um so that you guys know how it works so when you um when you're on youtube guys one of my options la designs i don't know if you guys can see that there's a like where you like there's a dislike where you don't press at all you you never you never go there there's a share there's a remix and then there's things so if you wanna send me a little some something you know not that i'm saying you must but if you wanna there's an option where you can send a super thanks i think it color with 39 i don't know if you can change that okay it looks like you color can't you okay it looks like you color with 39 rand and you can send 39 rand 99 rand 200 rand All the way up to 10,000. Uh, okay, I wasn't aware. All the way up to 10,000 quarter, guys. So if you want to send me a little something, something, please use the super thanks button. That is it from me for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.